everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my simulator generator plugin. Now, this video consists of four parts. The first part is how to download the plugin. The second part is how to configure the plugin. So edit things such as the reverb price. The third part will be how to add pets, how to add areas and generally how to update the game with new things. The last part, part 4, will be on how to implement new features that I added. By the way, I finally made a Discord server, so if you are interested in joining that, then you can. Link is in the description. So the first step is downloading the plugin. Now how do you do that? In the description of this video, you can get the plugin. Once you're on this page, simply just click get plugin. Now it will say that this item has been added to your inventory. The next step is in Roblox Studio. So you want to click view and open the toolbox. Once you are in the toolbox, you will click on these four squares. Then click on my models and open the my plugin snap. This should show the simulator generator plugin. You click it, there's an install button. And now the plugin is installed. After that, head to the plugin tab. It should be here. If it's not here, go to manage plugins and you can enable it here. Now, before you can start, it will probably ask you if uh, you allow script injections. When this screen pops up, you will click allow because this is what allows the plugin to create scripts in your game that make your game functional. Click allow and now you have a non-working game. So you will generate it again. And now the game is working. If there's UI on your screen, then you know that it is working. It should also print created a new and then whatever you created in the output when you made a new game. The next step will be how to configure the game. With configure I mean just changing the game slightly. For example, changing the price of the rebirths. In the game, you have a game settings tab in replicated storage. You can open this and there is a bunch of settings. Some of the things don't work if you change them. For example, button sign won't actually change the size of the buttons. Other things however, such as clicking anywhere, will allow you to edit the game to your liking. This setting, clicking anywhere, it will allow you to click not just here, but anywhere on the screen to get strength. There is a few issues with it though, which is why it is not enabled automatically. You can also edit the currency color, the currency image in here. The image is the strength icon and the color is the color for text. You might need to change these UIs yourself, but the pop-ups and other systems I think work with this. Next up is currency multiplier. This is just how much you get per click. Right now, people just get one per click, but I can set this to 100, and people will get 100 on each click. The next one is currency name. I think this is self explanatory. Currency site doesn't do anything. Data save. You can change this data save to anything you want, and it will reset everyone's data. The next one is game type. This is also just for the scripts that this won't do anything. Max drops. This is only applicable to a collect simulator. If you change the max drops to a different number, more or less drops will be spawned here. Then we have the rebirth settings, so you have rebirth base price, that's how much the uh, first rebirth costs. Then you have rebirth multiplier, that's how much um, multiplier is given to the player after rebirthing. And then you have rebirth type. This can be linear and exponential. Uh, linear rebirths just go and increase 300 or whatever number you have here per rebirth. And exponential types just grow, so they go from 300 to 600 to whatever. The rebirth multiplier also grows exponentially, but at a slower rate. You can also edit the pet stats. You do that by going to the pets, selecting the pet you want, so for example the dragon, and you click settings. In here you can change the rarity of the pet and the multiplier of the pet. In the modules, you can also change the scripts so in multipliers you can edit a bunch of things here now, if you go to the get max equipped on line 31 this is the default number which is 5 and this is how much the more pets game pass gives which is 3 
same for storage, the default is 50, the first game pass gives 50, and the second game pass gives 250. You can also change the luck, and you can change the rebirth multiplier if you want, by changing this number. In the game pass section, you can change the game pass ID of the game passes. So, right now, these will all be set to a template, which is linked to my account. But if you want to make Robux from this, you can change this to your own game passes. On YouTube, you can search up how to find the game pass ID of your game pass if you don't know how to. Once you have the ID, you can put it in here and it will automatically get the name, automatically get the image uh, of the game pass in the shop icon and get the price. Next is X. In here, you can find all the X. You can edit the chances here. This is the name of the pet in the egg and uh, the value is the chance of getting this pet. Then there's the cost of this egg which is always on the main currency of the game. So this could be uh, strength in this game but it can differ whatever game you generate. And last is the areas. So how this works is the last area will have a price of minus one. The second area, or well, first technically, um, will have a random price, which is usually around 250,000. If you think this is too high or too low, you can just add a zero behind it, or you can make it just 100 strength to get to the screen. You can also change the name because right now this is the desert, but maybe you want to make a Candyland area in here. If you want to edit the maps, you can edit pretty much anything. You can you just need to make sure that collect areas are there, um, that the doors are there, the eggs are there, make sure to keep this egg folder, same for leaderboards, and uh, these spawn and desert folders are literally just the assets you can edit and support. Same for the UI, if you keep the same layout, here's some of the layout, once you wanna, if you want to edit for example this one, make sure to keep the right names and the right things inside of it, how to expand. In this part of the video, I am going to show you how you can add pets, areas, and act the game. So, let's start with a new area. First off, you want to build the actual area. So, I'm going to make a quick ocean world here. This will be my ocean world. Um, of course, if you're making a game, you should probably add more than a blue part. Next up, you want to copy the doors. This will be the new max door. Go to replicate storage, go to areas, and you are going to create a new area here. It's going to be the third one. The cost of the third area will be minus one, but the second area, you have to change it from minus one. I'm going to make mine uh, 10,000. Cost 10,000 strength to get to the next area, and it's going to be called Ocean. Now, the area is now set up. Next up, you want to set up an egg. So, this will be the Ocean Egg. So, this is the Ocean Egg. Now, the eggs are easy to add. For the eggs, you just go to the eggs folder, copy one of these, for example, the this one, call it ocean egg it has to match with the model in here make sure capitals are right too now this is the ocean egg in here you can change the cost like I mentioned before I'm gonna make this 25 only and then in here you have the pets so once I have made my own pets I can put them in here by the way one quick thing when you open the game it will have this error and it will tell you to allow API services, studio and publisher games. Now what I mean by this is that you need to publish your game like that, create. So once that's done, you can go here, you can click play again. And it looks like I forgot to enable API services studio. So go to here, security, and game settings. Then you can just tick on these two. This will make the game work. This one will make um, game pass, my game passes work. So I will load the game pass in the shop. 
Right. Everything is working now. Now, finally, how to add pets. So, in this pet, you can see a middle part. If a pet does not have this part, then you can just create it. Uh, make sure that this part is somewhat aligned with the size of the pet. Like that. Then make it transparent. Make sure that if you put a decal in here and plop a face on it, that the um, face, if it's facing front, it will actually face front. So if it faces on this side, while on here it says front, you have to rotate just this part in order to make the pet face straight. Also call this part name part. If you don't do that, it will not work. And if you don't have the server script, the server script service, then you have to um, put cancelite false like this on all the parts in the pet, or it will get stuck in place. Put the pet in the pets folder here. Copy uh, the settings of a different pet. You can change the rarity to, for example, epic and change the multiplier to whatever you want. Now, once that's done, you also want to put the pet in the egg. So, I've already done that. You put the name of the pet in here, uh, the chance, and that's it. Let's test it out. And I am in here with my two cat pets. The last part is how to update the game. In the next video I'm planning on adding trading to this. How will you add trading to this is the question. So what you can do is you can on a different place generate a new game. Copy the scripts. You can copy this one. You can do this class name equals script and then you can copy all the scripts that you want. You can also do the same for local script and for module script then you might miss things in replicate storage um, or things in the UI uh, you will probably be able to manually add these so if I add the trading button you can just generate a new one and get the trading button from here you can just so let's say there was a button here you could just copy it from this place to uh, the one you're working on. After all of that it still doesn't work then you can just write me about it in the discord server and I'll provide better error messages so it tells you exactly what you miss. Now in the last part of the video I wanted to talk about the future of the Golden Sword channel and of the simulator plugin. So the next video is going to be probably my largest video I've made yet. I'm going to be adding trading and a bunch of smaller features in it. Uh, it will be something like the area video, but it will be just be way more content in the video. Uh, I'm planning on doing this for all my new videos. This will cause me to not be able to do weekly uploads as I have games to work on too. But the videos that I will upload are higher quality. Of course I've made the Discord server. In the Discord server I want a sort of submissions channel where you can upload assets and pets for people to use and for me to put in the plugin. I'm also planning on doing smaller fixes in uh, the Discord based on your feedback. I also want to make some videos which are not about the submission generator plugin. So these videos could be for example a plugin which can generate other things so imagine a obby generator or a tycoon generator plugin uh, and I want to do more developer kind of challenges so for example um, I want to do these challenges where I make a game in a week and I try to get it on the front page or something like that of course these videos will also be helpful for you guys I'm going to teach you some tricks about getting games to the front page and yeah that was the video if this video helped you then make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading more videos on the plugin like I said before. Uh, make sure to join the Discord. Uh, yeah. See ya.